It talks about your uh, passion, your drive. It talks about what you, how you like to go about, how you, how you go about doing things. It talks about your sexual uh, passions, what you're interested in when it comes to like physicalness. Remember, Mars equals action. So Mars is like how you go about getting what you like. Venus is what you like. So Mars is the action you take to get about to go about getting your passions, basically. Next. When you want to keep pushing the buttons of an Aquarius Mars person, they're um it, t- it takes a long time to get them mad, but their cool, calm, collected demeanor is like they don't care, like it's like they're detached from it. They don't want to put their energy into it. But if you keep pushing the buttons and you get them to the point of them getting angry, then they really don't care, and then they really will like exert their anger out on you. So they have like a, I don't care mentality because they're really detached from a lot of things. It's like what's important to them the most important thing to them is humanity as a as a whole in general like the most important thing to them is what can they do to like really help a lot of people at one time they want to know what what they can do to like be of service to a lot of people to humanity they're all about trying to save the world in a way because they all feel like they don't belong here they feel like they were put in the time all these rules all these things that you have to do by the time you're this age or all these things that you're supposed to be doing like they get that's crazy you know that he said um he wants to find a way to help a lot of people at once that is one way of viewing my music that i i mean i don't know if i probably thought of that in the future in the, not the future the past but if i didn't then I just realized that or maybe I did and I'm just not thinking of it but that was crazy I thought about like that plays a big part in it like being able to tell my story and help people who also may be going through the same shit you see what I'm saying but really all I'm doing is talking into a microphone saving the shit you know have my engineer mix it up blah 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 you know what I'm saying and putting it out and then it just it can be therapeutic for other people the same way it's therapeutic for me. You know what I'm saying? No bullshit. Because music... How you think I... Listen. How do you think I became who I am? Like, before I could look at my own progress and get motivated, I had to look at other rappers. Meek Mill. Fucking Lil Wayne. All my motivations. You know what I'm saying? I used to watch them and see what they went through and how they dealt with shit. You see what I'm saying? So, that's that, that's crazy that he said that. All these rules, all these things that you have to do by the time you're this age or all these things that you're supposed to be doing, like they get plopped in a system where you're supposed to be doing things like this and automatically they hate rules. They hate doing things like that. So they're not really good into like following along like the norms, basically, because remember Aquarius, the ruler of Aquarius, the planet is Uranus and Uranus, the planet itself is flipped upside down to the side. A planet Uranus itself is very uh, rebellious. So like. That Mars and Aquarius person is a very rebellious person internally. You probably automatically just like do not like authority. <laughs> You're not like um. You just don't like rules, kind of thing. You feel you always find a way to like. I'm not gonna say break rules as in like yeah criminals or whatever, but you always find like your own reason why a rule does not work for you, and you just like break it. Or you always find a reason like this does not make sense as in why we all have to do this. I'm gonna do my own thing. Like this makes more sense to me. Like own path like doing your own thing because y'all are very visionary like that y'all are very visionary like that and also it's a fixed sign so once you have like an opinion on something once you have like your mindset on something stubborn as hell to change it so y'all like really like all right this is my opinion this is my mindset this is what it is remember mars is action so you're going to carry out whatever opinion you have whatever uh, theory you have whatever like mindset you have you really you really carried out full force you don't change for nothing you're definitely not going to uh, conform for anybody for anything conforming listening following the uh, the status quo is definitely not a Aquarius thing at all they like freedom they like doing things that make them stand out as in they're different i create this myself like i use my imagination i use my in- intelligence like i do things for myself very individualistic like that so they hate like conforming and copying uh, norms so- that's all facts I feel like Mars in Aquarius is very similar to Sun in Aquarius because, you know, it sounds like he's explaining a regular Sun sign Aquarius in a way, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to keep going to, like, there might be something else I've seen that makes it different. Copying norms. So 
what might happen with this with this placement is like having a Mars and Aquarius, you do things very unpredictably. Like people can never like pinpoint what you're gonna do next. People can never really understand like all the moves you make because the things you do is very Aquarius like, it's very unpredictable, very up in the air, it's very weird, very eccentric. Like you might come like one day and just dye your hair red just cause it's just like you want to dye your hair red and just come come to work and act like everything is normal. But you're like, yo, you just dyed your hair red. It's like you do things very like different and eccentric, like off the top. Like you could be chilling, all of a sudden an idea comes in your head. Like I just want to get a tattoo or I just want to do something. I just want to do something different that'll make me stand out, that helps me um express myself, makes me uh, more individualistic. Just ideas come in your head and randomly, because Mars is an Aquarius, you just randomly. Put that, put that into action. Like random things come in your head and you just put it into action. So on the outside, people look at you like this person very different. I can never. Yo, you know what's crazy? What he said about shit just comes into my head and I put it into action. I actually caught footage of that being proven before I even knew about all this shit right here. Like, um, there's a video I put up of Ariana filming me um, two years ago, I think doing uh what video was it respect the game remix and um it was like it was four o'clock in the morning i think or three o'clock in the morning i put it on youtube um i had randomly just i seen the snow outside i'm like yo you know what i want to shoot a video in this snow that shit would look crazy what told her she was right there we walked right outside and got to it no bullshit like just like that like it just hit me i said yo let's go do this and we went and did it just Power like that. because he's a humanitarian he's she's a humanitarian they want to do things to save the world now uh, mars also talks about your sexual passions sexual um your sexual preferences in a way and now aquarius mars y'all do get a rep i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie aquarius venus is i said aquarius venus aquarius mars people get a rep for like having detached sex and what I, what this means is like they don't really need the emotional intimacy and sex like that. They don't really need that all the time. They prefer, like, if they're single, they prefer having sex without strings attached. They, they prefer, like, just being able to, like, be in and out as they please because they like that freedom kind of thing. But if they're in a relationship, remember, um, uh, Aquarius is a fixed sign. So if when they commit, when they become in a relationship, they become really uh, committed and they're really fixated on that person. Okay. But when they're in a relationship... The way they like to have sex is like really be like really uh weird, kinky. They like this like weird shit, like weird kinky things, like like things that are very different, unpredictable in sex. So you have to like be able to um supply like supply them with things that are different and weird. They don't yeah. like the same mundane three positions. They like they like doing <laughs> things that are just different, weird and eccentric. But if they're single, they definitely like to have sex that's with no strings attached. Like they don't like, they like to like they have a rep for like you know having a lot of different partners because like Aquarius energy in general likes being single. They like their freedom. They like being like, they're just being individualistic. They hate that. Um, conforming to rules kind of things. That's all facts, baby. That's all facts. And the more, you know me, the more you would know that's really facts. Like really dead ass <laughs> to the next part though. So if you're dealing with these people though, it's gonna be. It's kind of hard to like really pin down a Mars and Aquarius person because their whole mindset is about I like being by myself. Not I like being by myself, but I like my individual my individuality. I like my freedom. I like being able to do what I want whenever. So it's gonna be hard to pin these people down if you come at them with rules and if you try to like forcefully pin them down. As soon as they feel that this person is giving me rules, this person is giving me incentives. This person's gonna be a burden on my life. Aquarius has no problem with like, you know, leaving or forgetting the whole situation because they're all about being individual and being like being a go-getter, being like being themselves, basically. They're all about being themselves. Eccentric, individualistic, progressive thinking, and thinking about the future. They're all about the future thinking and humanitarianism. So if you want to pin these people down, the secret is you want to ease your way in by being a friend. Like, be next to them. Like, watch how they work. Like, understand them. Like, look at their likes or dislikes. That's facts. Listen, that's how my... Yo, that's really how my girl bagged me. She was my friend first. No bullshit. Like, honestly, before I figured out a lot of shit, me and my girl used to argue all the time. Like, we didn't get along as much as we do now. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
But that's all facts. Like, our relationship shit still don't even got no damn title, really. Like, yeah, that's my girl. But, like, like I don't know. Our relationship is so deep now that titles don't even really mean anything. Like, marriage, fucking um, girlfriend, boyfriend, boo, baby. All well, that shit don't really mean anything to how deep our shit is. This shit is way beyond that. You know what I'm saying? It's way beyond all that shit, so. But um, that's how she bagged me, though. That's definitely how she bagged me, being my friend, being near me, you know. Next, let's go to the next part. Progressive thinking and thinking about the future, they're all about the future thinking and humanitarianism. So if you want to pin these people down, the secret is you want to ease your way in by being a friend, like be next to them, like watch how they work, like understand them, like look at their likes or dislikes, like really understand them as a person without the emotions, without the strings attached, without the emotions. That's why I like friendships a lot. Friendships are everything to Aquarius energy in general. But Mars and Aquarius really value friendships a lot because like they know that they are weird and different and they accept people that are weird and different. They accept everybody for who they are exactly. So having a friend is like I accept you for who you are and I, I accept you for like what you represent. And I'm willing to, like, you know, give you my energy in a friendship kind of thing. So when you ease your way in friendship, if you if y'all become friends first, and then you can watch them, see how they see how they act, what they like, and once you study them in that way, then like that friendship. Will and then you can watch them, see how they see how they act, what they like, and once you study them in that way, then like that friendship will become like a more committed relationship. But they only get in relationships when y'all become friends first. Because that's how they... Aquarius Energy just likes that friendship turned lover kind of relationship. They just like that vibe. It just makes more sense to them that my best friend, the person that I've been with, the person that I've talked to for a long time, the person that really understands me or knows me, is somebody that I would choose to be in a relationship with. It, to be in a relationship with. Because remember, they don't like rules. They don't, they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't like conforming. So a relationship is like conforming being being uh in a in a locked environment kind of thing so they will only go in it if they tell themselves like you are the person if they like make themselves change their whole mentality and become like all right so look i'm gonna be in a relationship now so for in order for you to be that person that they when her holidays take a wrong turn they don't they don't, uh, they don't like conforming so a relationship is like they go in it if they tell themselves like you are the person if they like make themselves change their whole mentality and become like all right so look i'm gonna be in a relationship now so for in order for you to be that person that they choose to like do that with you have to ease your way in and be that friend that they're gonna be like i've been with this person or i've talked to this person for a mad long time they've been here for me they're mad cool mad funny like i like the personality we can actually hang out and it's not gonna be awkward it's not gonna be boring like they like somebody that can actually chill with like it's all about the chemistry when it comes to the, the friendship relationship like somebody that you can actually chill with for a long time and not get annoyed or bored or anything so when you realize that then like that friendship will definitely move up to relationship and like i said it's a fixed sign so they're gonna be very loyal very all about that one-on-one -on -one partnership but it X, same. My girl knows how I operate though. Like, she know. As long as she don't play no games, I don't play no games. Simple as that. It's really that simple. You know what I'm saying? Very all about that one-on-one -on -one partnership. But it is very hard to pin down a Mars and Aquarius person just because they don't like. They don't like being pinned in one box. They don't like being pushed into a corner. They don't like being confined. Basically. So like I said, the secret is don't bring up relationships. Don't be emotional to them. Don't bring up your emotional needs to them in the beginning. Just ease your way in, slide your way in, become their friend first, be right next to them, study them, watch them. And you yourself will see like this person, the Aquarius Mars person will start to open up to you way more and way more. And then that's how it become like a relationship. And when they get in a relationship, like I said, very loyal, very stuck on that person. And they're very like, they will give you like a lot of like insight with the way that they think because Aquarius Mars people think completely differently. This is very, this is very individualistically different. They look at, they feel like they don't belong here. They feel like, why, what am I doing here? Why am I here? Why am I so different? 
So because of this, they want to do something that will help humanity, help the masses in general. Mars is your action, so you're going to be driven to do Aquarius type things. So that humanitarianism is really big for this sign. Like I said in all my Aquarius videos, the one best way to reach the masses, to like portray your opinion, to portray your your um, portray your goal to to the, to the universe, to portray whatever you want to do for uh, for humanity, the best way to reach the masses is make a YouTube channel. Make videos, share your information, because that's what Aquarius are here to do, is to share information, to get a lot of information, and to share it with the world. So make a YouTube channel, share your information with the world. This is going to help you, like, really reach everybody that you want to reach. It helps you attract your soul tribe. It helps you attract people that are like you. Because even though you might feel like you're mad different, you're mad weird, there are people like you around the world. But the only way to really connect with them is by putting yourself out there. And the internet... Age of Aquarius, the internet is Aquarius, is Aquarius energy big time, so use the internet to, like, reach, find your soul tribe, find the people that are like you, that are like-minded, like, that really helps you, like, not feel so alone, not feel so weird, it helps you really connect with people that are on the same, like, journey with you, and then you can carry out that mission, that same mission of whatever mission you have, it's gonna be all different, like I said, it's gonna be very hard to pin down, like, Aquarius energy into one, like, classification, because they're all different. But the main story is, like, they all want to do something that will help humanity as a whole, that will help the world as a whole, that will help everybody progress, that will help people, like, live their life better than they do now kind of thing. So that's my video on Mars and Aquarius. I hope y'all enjoyed that. My next... That's all facts, baby. That's all facts. And like I said, my music is that. You know, it not only helps me, but it helps people, too.